In today's video, I want to talk about how to attract the right partner or the right relationship or just simply hire quality people into your life. I'm going to talk about three mindsets that are practices and ways of being which can be applied to attracting your ideal partner as well as to any other area of your life, whether it's business, socializing, or anything. So check them out. So first of all, those three practices are derived from this book, Siddhartha. I can think, I can wait, and I can fast. Now, at first glance, they appear to be very impractical. And how do you apply them in life, especially when it comes to attracting uh, your ideal partner or a better relationship or better people into your life they seem very impractical but once you really dive into them which i'm gonna do one by one you really to begin to understand the power behind them the first one i want to talk about is think i can think so one of the ways that he explains it explains it siddhartha the uh, the character is that i can think and when I'm thinking, basically he says, I do not let anything, any negative thought go into my vision of my goal. So basically he's completely in control of his thoughts and he's always committed to his vision. Number one is do not let anything go into your vision for how you see your ideal partner uh, as well as your ideal relationship. The other thing you also want to envision is not only your ideal person and your ideal relationship, but what will your ideal self look like? Because it's important to feel great about yourself. It's important to feel worthy of this relationship, of this person, of this lifestyle, of this life. If you're not feeling that way, then you're going to sabotage yourself. All right, so the next thing is I know how to wait. That's very important because it talks completely about patience. Patience is, I think, especially in Western culture, a lost art. It is incredibly important because it's not about just waiting per se. It's about waiting for the right time to act as well as in the context of attracting your ideal partner. It has to do also with not imposing uh, your ideal and all these other images of what you're looking for right away to a specific person. That's one of the most common things that happens is that we idealize a person way too fast as opposed to getting to know them, being in the moment with them and enjoying their company and really being there as opposed to idealizing them and rushing things. That's one of the worst things you can do. So patience is about that. Patience is also about not giving up. In other words, you have endless patience in regards to how long it will take to attract someone and you're also okay with being on your own and that's going to be about I can fast and I'll talk about that in a minute. You have endless patience for that. You're not going to give up so you're committed to uh, whatever your vision is. You're continuing to take action or you know showing up. Maybe that might be perhaps online dating app or something like that. Whatever it might be. So you're committed to it and you're not giving up as well as you're not rushing things. You're not overly anxious about meeting this person because at the end of the day, it's all about you. Happiness is about you and I'm sure you've heard this many, many times, but it's true. You wanna make sure that you're bringing the best of you into the relationship with this person. Patience is also about being flexible. So once you put someone in a box, whether it's an idealistic box or pedestal as many people call it, you begin to be filtering everyone else as this is the one but everyone else is nah that's not what I want that is a big mistake when it comes to uh, really attracting and being open to the best possible scenario to build a great relationship patience will allow inspire action you'll be more open to opportunities as well as to your intuition and knowing what's best for you and what's more compatible for you Fasting is basically has to do with being okay with saying no. So when things don't meet your criteria, 
it's okay to pass. It's okay to just be friends with this person. It's okay to uh, simply have a different kind of relationship than what you're looking for in a partner, perhaps. The more you're okay being on your own and saying no, the better your vibe is gonna be and the better the people you're gonna be attracting. People will read your vibe as this is that kind of person that they're very friendly, yet they know what they want type of thing. And they'll read it right away. All right, and the third and final thing is being okay with fasting. So fasting in any area of your life is very important. Uh, it is all about overcoming any kind of neediness, any kind of temptation, and any kind of drive that may put you into trouble. So what that means in regards to uh, attracting your ideal partner or better relationships is all about being okay with saying no. And so uh, as well as accepting no, I mean, one of the things about rejection and all that, it can be a very powerful value to get, um, get what you want. Be okay with accepting rejection and be okay with giving it because it only, it allows, you're giving the gift, if you will, of not wasting someone else's time and not wasting your own time. So that is the value of it. Now, when it comes to fasting, once you're okay with nothing, if you're okay with no attention, no validation, or the company uh, of a significant other and all that kind of stuff, and you can derive love from your immediate relationships, whether it's your friends, your family, uh, whatever, colleagues, whatever it might, might be, and you're deriving love connection from that, and you're okay with that, then, the relationship that you might get into will be a lot healthier as well as you'll be attracting again higher quality people because not only can people read what you're willing to accept and based on past actions and based on your character um, they can read it from your energy but also in the way that you're opening I guess your life and creating more room for more of the people you want in your life it will allow more opportunities to come in of that type of person. So if there is any temptation, any kind of addiction uh, that you might have in regards to attention, validation, wanting someone's company, or always wanting to be in a relationship, or sex, or whatever it may be, these things are gonna hinder you from saying no. And personally, I've had to deal with it in regards to overcoming some of these things and becoming a lot more choosy in that way because oftentimes you might also be addicted to being liked in a way where you don't want to hurt someone's feelings so you it's hard to say no sometimes as well so there's different things that we are addicted to that we don't even know it they're just triggers so if there's any kind of thing that you need any kind of thing that sabotages you from saying no and saying yes to what you want you really want to analyze it see what the triggers are and begin to overcome it. If you like this video, give it a like, subscribe, and check out some of my other videos. That's all for today. We'll see you next time. Take care.